Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Alhamdulillahi wa kafa wa salatu wa salamu ala Nabi Mustafa wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ya sidiki wa wafa. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever heard human is the best creation of Allah? Allah has been creating human in the best form. Allah created our ancestor to be leader in this world and have given very good knowledge. Therefore, let's all be grateful to Allah for all the sustenance that Allah has given us that we are feeling right now. Then, my blessing and peace of Allah be open to our Prophet Muhammad wasallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ahli Sayyidina Muhammad who has guided us from the darkness to the brightness, from the stupidity to the cleverness era. Ladies and gentlemen, in the special opportunity, I'll deliver the speech about the tough young generation. Ladies and gentlemen, in this modern era, we are faced with the rapid development of the times. With mice, the mindset of today must be different from previous generations. Starting how to behave, knowledge and lifestyle that we see recently. As we know today, many of the younger generation prefer to study sciences academics, such as mathematics, economics, and even politics, without slightest regard for manners and norm in society. So, let's reflect on the previous generations, especially our scholars, as in the history of Imam Malik Rahimallah, when Imam Malik was about to go study, and his mother said to him, Go to your teacher, learn the etiquette before you learn the knowledge. From this story, we know how important it is to learn etiquette first, because by learning etiquette first, knowledge and blessings will be easy for us to get. As we know that etiquette is very important things to take precedence. However, we all know that science is very important to, and mandatory for every Muslim to learn. As the hadith of Prophet Muhammad, Seeking knowledge is the compulsory of every Muslim, narrated by Ibn Majah. From the hadith, through the mercy of Allah, Allah has explained to his servants to always seek knowledge because of the importance of knowledge. We can learn is not only the class or school, but we can learn from everything and everywhere. One of the way is to learn from successful inner prayer. We can learn from their motivations, their past, and their life stories. For example, the life story of Abdurrahman bin Auf. We, as the nation's source, shouldn't be bored to study so that we become useful, qualified, creative, and have high aspiration for a bright future. As a younger generation in this era, we have to be passionate about something that we won't bother by anything. Because by having a passion, we can see where our talents that we must maintain and develop by spending some of our time for our future. My brothers and sisters, as youth of the nation's as a source, apart from prioritizing manners and knowledge, we must also prioritize our health, both physical and spiritual health, also known as Iman. Our God Allah obliges us to have healthy lifestyle because strong and faithful believers of course, we'll always be enthusiastic in carrying out worship and comments of Allah. Ladies and gentlemen, as Muslims, we have to take care of our health in all aspects, like physical and spiritual health. But know this, the most worrying aspects most students is mental health. Mental disorders can be experienced by anyone. Basic health research data discussed thus proved that the prevalence of emotional mental disorders is indicated by symptoms such as depression and anxiety. Even overreaches 61% of the total population of Indonesia, or the equivalent 11 million people. From the research data, it can be concluded mental health must be considered as physical health. As we know that, the younger generations, there are so many problems that have been bothering teenagers recently. Most Muslims yesterday vent their mental problems through negative channels, such as drugs, promiscuity, and even free sex. 
But our God Allah, since long time ago, has explained us how to solve our mental health problems in Surah Ar-Ra'ad, verse 28. A'udhu billahi mina shaytanir rajim, bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alladheena amanu wa tatama'innu al-kulubuhum bi-dhikrillah. Ala bi-dhikrillah tatama'innu al-kulub. Which means, those who believe and their heart find peace by the remembrance of Allah. Remember, only by remembering Allah does the heart find peace. From the first, Allah has explained us. With the remembrance of Allah, our heart be calm. One of the way is by reading Quran. As Muslims, we are required to read Quran and we'll get many rewards. Imagine, only by reading Quran, we'll get peace of mind and many rewards. Ladies and gentlemen, from all the things, as young generation, it's important first to have good manners. But don't forget, we are also required to always learn to become intellectuals. Because with broad insights, as a younger generation of Islam, we won't be left behind the times that always continue to develop. However, intellectuals alone are not enough if they are not accompanied with good health and right lifestyle. Ladies and gentlemen, as younger generation in this era, we must risk balance all these aspects so we can be the tough young generation. Okay, that's all from me. I'm very glad to be able to see in front of you all. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.